my own from Eric's Fab. Today we're going to be attempting to paint the cage again. So I had loads of comments, uh, like hundreds of them, loads of really good information from everyone about what went wrong with the, um, the previous paint job. Probably the most common thing people said that I needed to do was to filter the paint. So Gareth sent me a load of filters to do that. I've got a load more paint and Trev from Trev's blog uh, recommended that I get one of these. It's a Duran Tools gun with a 1.3 nozzle. Really cheap, like uh, 20 quid off eBay. I'll put an eBay link in the description. Scotched everything inside again. Had the heater going for about an hour now. It's not that cold. Probably a little bit warmer than last time. Uh, got a larger airline. Someone said about that. And I've just had loads of tips on how to actually get the paint on a bit better. Eh? Well, hopefully, uh, I've got another little um, water trap thing, but it won't fit on the gun because it hits on that. Also, I've just got it at the start of this airline. Yeah. And then I've got a bigger airline. Can you put it between the um, fittings on the airline? I can, but then it makes the, the gun like this big, and they just won't be able to get in.
Right, that was uh, much more successful than the first attempt. Paint's gone on really well in most of it. Still got quite a few paint runs, um, but overall it's 100 times better than the uh, first attempt. This gun made a hell of a difference. It just, like the paint was going on a lot thicker, a lot more consistent, and seemed to use less paint, like one pot of paint seemed to go further. And uh, once I discovered that you can sort of pull the trigger back just a little bit and get like a little bit of paint, just for trying to like touch little bits in, once I realized that, that made things a lot easier for not piling the paint on too thick. Um, and then on the last, basically the last coat I was doing, um, I had the boot floor like perfect and uh, went to put one last coat on it and it just like splattered all this, what I thought was water again all over the, all over the boot floor. And I think that was just because I hadn't, I'd gone through so many pots of paint and it had actually clogged all the, the tip up. I think for every pot of paint I probably should have been cleaning out the uh, nozzle. Um, so there was just, it just all clogged up and then just spat a load of it out everywhere. I think there might have been a little bit of water in it as well. So then I went in and tried to like get it out with a bit of rag and sort of made a bit of a mess of it. but. Uh, I think it'll be fine once it's dry and if not I can always just um, do it again blow a bit more and I've got some paint left so for 20 quid I think that is you can't really go wrong with that eBay uh, so cheers Trev for um, sending me the link to that and I'll put the link in the description if you want to get yourself one they do work well so the next stage will be to um, start with the filler work and that kind of stuff. Still quite a bit that needs doing on that. Um, but I'm not here next week so that will give the paint a chance to dry properly um, before I do anything else. I've got another video edited which I'll upload sort of middle of next week which is showing the next project build that I'm going to be doing. And also I've started, I've started posting some videos on Facebook, like shortened, basically some of my older videos, but shortened down to just little time lapse type videos. So if you're on Facebook, go over to my Facebook page, give me a, give me a follow on there. And um, yeah, if you like the videos and want to share them around, that would be much appreciated. Thanks again Gareth from Transpares for um, supplying all the paint and everything. Uh, make sure you check them out if you need any paint supplies or anything like that. There'll be a link in the description to his website. And uh, thanks to everyone that uh, messaged me, emailed me, um, commented on the last video about the paint. And yeah, obviously been, it's come out a lot better than it did the first time. So. That's much appreciated. Um, that's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.